Camels are such wholesome mobs, like look at them. They're the Minecraft manifestation of the smirk emoji. How's it going, man? But the problem is, I reckon these camels are so bored of lying around in villages. Aww. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna build the world's largest bamboo camel statue for our yellow friends to admire and be proud of. As well as bamboo, we're gonna need to get a desert camels and also elect a camel president. The nearest desert is like 8,000 blocks away, so rather than building this all the way over there, I'm just gonna make my own custom desert. It'll cost me 40,000 blocks of sand, but it'll save me the time it takes to travel 8,000 blocks to build it. So I reckon it's about time we build a sand farm. And in order to make a sand farm, I'm gonna need 36 slime blocks, which... I don't have any slime at all. So let's make a slime farm. We're gonna build a slime farm right down here. Making a slime farm basically just involves making a big hole to trap slimes in in a slime chunk. While I'm building this slime farm, I'd like to kindly ask you to like the video and subscribe because once I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to face reveal. As you can see, we've made a successful slime farm and I've been AFK for a while. Let's check our rates. Ooh, yep, that's good. Very good. And let's Let's turn all of these into blocks. Awesome, 38 blocks. Just a bit more than what we need. Wait a second. I need honey as well? Okay, I guess we're making a honey farm now too. This is the thing about Minecraft is if you want to do one thing, you have to do 5,000 other things before you get to do that one thing. It's kind of hilarious how I need a large supply of honey, slime, iron, wood, and other stuff just to make my own entire desert. Epic, let us collect all of our honey. This gives us twice as much honey as we need. The ironic thing about this is that I need honey to make a sand farm, but to make a honey farm, I need heaps of sand to make glass for glass bottles. <laughs> I've got all the resources I need for my sand farm, so let's head over. Do -do 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 -do. Heading over to where we'll build the sand farm. Hello, portal. Now, I reckon I've got some explaining to do because I know that villagers use a similar method to duplicate their diamonds to make plastic huh? diamonds. Right, so why am I using a sand farm? It does go against my principles. Well, everyone was telling me to make one and not only that it's 40,000 blocks of sand <laughs> I'm not planning on using this farm for things like anvils or concrete powder. Also, I really love building redstone contraptions So this was actually really fun for me to make. All right, my sand farm is ready I'm gonna need to be really careful with this because these can literally break Minecraft worlds because of lag if you do it wrong. So let's just flick this switch and run into the end as fast as we can. Oh, okay, we can see that it's working. Oh yes, it sure is working. This is epic. Let's just go AFK for a bit. Okay, we've been AFK for 45 minutes and wow. Okay, this is insane. Oh, quickly turn it off. Turn it off, turn it off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, my hardcore world is safe. Let's just get a whole bunch of shulker boxes. Let's place them all down. Let's get all of the sand all into these shulker boxes. Oh my goodness, so much sand. Yeah, I can see why so many people were telling me to build a sand farm. This is a crazy amount of sand. So the plan is to make this big island into our custom desert. And oh boy, it may just take quite a long time. I'm only like a third of the way through. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, Dorothy. Just remember what it's for, Cringy. You're doing this for love. Thus, because of Dorothy's amazing speech, I pressed on while live. I continued placing sands until my hands could no longer take it. Literally, I kind of hurt my wrist doing this. But yeah, I decided to take a break from placing sand and got some more camels from another desert. You know what? I kind of, I'm kind of tired of placing this sand right now. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go and fetch another camel. Here is our desert portal. Okay, camels. Oh my gosh, it's our baby camel. Now every Everyone was telling me that camels can fit in boats, right? But let's have a look, right? Okay, can camels really fit in boats? No, they can't. Well, at least adult camels can't, but baby camels can. See? Let us saddle the camel and let us lead this camel and also this camel. 
Come on. Down the hill. And we've hit an ocean. Okay, this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to put the baby in a boat. And we're going to take the other guys across the sea. Let's go to our portal. Come here, little sweetie baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Just come with me. I promise you uh, that won't ever happen again, okay? Oh my gosh. That was that was horrible. Are you okay, little Camel Junior? Oh dear. I'm so sorry, Camel Junior. I'm just devastated. Oh, come on. I'm sorry that that happened to you, but... Just come with me. No, don't lie down. Give cactus to baby. Good idea. I should definitely do that. Baby. There you go. We're coming close to our pyramid where I'll be able to safely transport them on the nether roof. But really, the only danger out here for them is myself. I promise you guys, you'll have a better life where I'm taking you, okay? Just trust me. Come on, guys. We're getting so close. Yeah. We've made it. I can't wait for these guys to meet Dorothy. Okay, what are you... What? Riding a camel all the way back home. While we're riding through the nether, let me ask you guys a question. What do you like more, riding camels or riding horses? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to go on this camel. I mean, what? I want to go on this portal. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. Guys, come on. I know that I accidentally stabbed you with my pickaxe before, Camel Junior, but just let's, let's just keep going, all right? Don't be a baby. Uh-oh. Goodbye, skeleton. Let's go, camels. We do not want to die. Oh. Goodbye, skeleton. Hey! Come on, guys. Get rid of the dangers. Let's go. We are on our desert. But there's no lights, so there's heaps of mobs everywhere. Okay, you know what? Let's just leave our camels here. They'll be all right here. And let's go sleep. <sighs> Alright, now that we've got our camels, it's about time we finish our desert so that we can build a camel statue on here. Let's do it. We have successfully run out of sand, so let's go and get some more from our farm. Let's trade up a bunch of lanterns so that we can light up our desert to protect it from dangers. And let's get ourselves some cactus to place around the desert. Speaking of cactus, where are our camels? Camel Junior? Hello? Where are our camels gone? Camels! Where are you? Oh dear. They're not anywhere in the desert. There's just pigs and sheep. Camels? What the heck? Where did they go? Come out. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, man. You guys scared me. Camel Junior? Hi. Hello. 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 Other oh, camel. Where's where's the third one gone? Well, let's just get these guys back. Come on. Would you guys like some cactus? What a beautiful sunset for a baby to be born upon. And now let's build the ultimate bamboo camel. Heck yeah, guys, we're building the ultimate bamboo camel of justice. The reason why we've got epic cinematic scene for this is because, well, this is freaking epic, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty sweet that I already had all the bamboo prepared for this from building the desert because my bamboo farm was just automatically going on in the background, so I had no problem with getting the resources for this one. But man, I reckon these camels are gonna be pretty keen for what we've got in store for them and for having a president. Here it is, our wonderful bamboo camel. I don't have a name for this camel, so can you guys please suggest a name in the comments? Thank you very much. Now, we don't have anything yet in the interior, but there is so much room in here to build something cool. I'm gonna save doing the inside for another time, though, because now we must elect a camel president. <laughs> My name is Camel Jr. And I'm here today to give you a speech as to why you should vote for me to become the President of the United States of Camel Erica. If you vote for me, I promise to provide peace, prosperity, 
and plenty of cactus to our country. Yeah. That is all I have to say. Thank you. Woohoo, yeah. People of the United States of Camelerica, do I have a speech for you? My name is Dorothy the Camel, and I have been on many, many adventures. You should vote for me if you wish to live a life full of wealth and health. Thank you. That is all I have to say. Farewell. Well, you've heard the speeches, so now it's time for you to vote for which camel you think should be the president of the United States of Camelerica. Click this video to vote for Camel Jr. and click this video to vote for Dorothy. Be sure to choose wisely, because your vote may be the one that determines who's going to be the president. Well, you're just still here, you know, just still deciding on the on who should be the president. I think it is good that you take some time, but um, the video is about to end.